Texas's controversial new abortion law is making waves across the country, and now leaders in states, companies, and President Biden all voicing their thoughts. News Nation's Marky Martin is in Dallas, Texas, and Marky, this is the country's biggest curb on abortion rights since Roe v. Wade. And Rutabay, that was 1973, and as you know, this law is being met with mixed reaction, of course, staunch criticism, but also keep in mind, too, we're here in the Bible Belt, so it's also being met with high praise from some folks as well. This law is so strict, it doesn't even include exceptions for rape or incest. President Biden calling this an absolute assault on constitutional rights under Roe v. Wade. And how this works differently, what makes this different from other laws, is that it practically deputizes private citizens to report or even sue anybody involved in the abortion process from the performing doctor all the way to the Uber driver who even drives you to the clinic to get that uh, procedure uh, done and taken care of. And not to mention it goes even further than that. Anybody who sues successfully is entitled to $10,000. And when it comes to that reward system, President Biden actually spoke on the matter today. Take a listen. The most pernicious thing about the Texas law it sort of creates a vigilante system where people get rewards to go out to, anyway. And it just seems, I know this sounds ridiculous, almost un-American. Un-American. And uh, something else uh, of note that is new, you have now these big dating apps that are coming forward saying that they are creating relief funds uh, to protect employees. You have Bumble. Uh, you had the CEO of Match Group coming out this week, sending out a company-wide email saying that they have this relief fund for any of their employees, uh, women or families who are affected by this. And just this afternoon, ride-sharing company Lyft also coming out with the same thing, saying that they will be covering 100% of the legal fees for any of its drivers uh, that find themselves uh, involved in a lawsuit or sued because they took a woman to a clinic to get an abortion. Ruta Bay. So, Marky, Texas is certainly the strictest in the country when it comes to abortion laws, but are there other states now considering the same? Yes, so I think it's important to note that there are several states who have uh, passed laws but have been unable to implement them just because they're facing legal challenges. We can tell you more than a dozen states have tried to enact this ban early on in pregnancy. And then just this week on Thursday, uh, at least half a dozen states came forward to say that they're now considering at least pushing the same kind of jargon that Texas now implemented when it comes to the uh, the citizen response, the citizens you know being able to sue and report themselves. Those states would be Mississippi, Arkansas, Florida, Indiana, and the Dakotas.